Rudy Perez is a multi-Grammy award-winning songwriter and one of the most iconic names in Latin music. He's written hundreds of hit songs and written and produced for celebrities like Beyonce, Julio Iglesias, and Christina Aguilera. In his book, The Latin Hitmaker, Rudy opens up about growing up in Cuba and his family's flight to freedom with only the clothes on their backs and why he credits his faith in God for every detail of his stunning career. Well, here with me now is the award-winning music producer and author, Rudy Perez. It's great Thank to have you, you so here, Thank you so much, Rudy. Terry. It's Thank you for having me. I'm so blessed. You know, your story is the reason that so many people want to come to the United States. And so we talk about all of the glory of what's happened in mm -hmm. the success years. But I want to go back to the very beginning. You were born right at the time that Castro came into um, power in Absolutely. Cuba. And your dad was very anti-communist. So how did that all affect your family? Dramatically, my dad was um, in the military. You know, he was uh, for the uh, uh, Eugenio Batista um, uh, government at the time. And, and my dad was, um, he, he was, he was, everything in my life at that time was very normal. Yeah. You know, we were a tight family, aunts, grandparents. You know, we, my grandfather, who was a pastor, would walk us kids to school every day and walk us back. So everything was normal until Castro came in. When he came in, everything just completely got crazy in Cuba. Well, and and what had been so normal turned into really craziness for your family too. You actually left the country on a freedom flight. What was mm -hmm. that like? That was that was almost my mom almost didn't make it because yeah. as we were walking that was towards so scary the plane. To read about oh my that god, in your yeah, book. you gotta read about it because uh you know, we, she barely made it. Uh, this soldier just uh, on the way to the steps of the plane jumped in front of her and said, you're not leaving. Your kids are, but, and your husband. That could have changed everything. 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 But an officer came over and said, let her go. And That's right. so you got on the plane, you come to America. So the, what people think of as the hard part mm -hmm. has kind of been accomplished. But the hard part for you as a kid was still before you. It was a tough adjustment. It was a tough adjustment. And, you know, I was thrown into the school system without speaking the language. So I was mm -hmm. bullied every day, you know, for, for, for years and years. And to the point where I actually dropped out at 11th grade. Yeah. I could not uh, continue in school just because uh, of the pressure that I had. Yeah. And at 15, you did what a lot of young people in your circumstance at that time would have done. You joined a gang. And that's right. That's really a matter of survival, right? It's a matter of survival. Not, I, I always knew that God had a plan for me to make wonderful music, to make people yeah. happy and, and to touch people's hearts. But the gang came calling and, you know, you don't say no to them. And, and I ended up being locked up. You had, at an earlier age, about 10, I think, told your mom you wanted a guitar and an amplifier. And I, I love this about your mom because she didn't say, oh, let me save and get that for you. What did she say? To you? She might have been able to lend me the money. She was a seamstress and she worked. 24 hours. I'm sure and she did. She was a wonderful, but I think she was saving money for our family. But she said to me, how much is it? I said, $700. And she says, okay, you're going to go get a job and you're going to buy it on your own. And it's going to feel great. Yeah. So years later, by the time you, the whole gang thing happened, you'd had the guitar for a while. You loved music. It's, it really was where your heart was. You wound up being sent to a detention center, right. making some poor choices. How did you break out of that and move forward with your life? Well, I think, uh, I think that was the first time God really spoke to me as an adult. Because mm -hmm. uh, early on, I was always around church and my grandfather. And, you know, my, father, my grandfather was a Baptist minister. And I, I always had church in me and, and, and faith. But when I got locked up, that's when God really said to me, hey, enough. Yeah, what are you doing? What are you doing? And that's when I said, okay, I promise if I get out of here, I will dedicate my life into making music. When did you realize that God was moving you into the music industry? What was your big break? What was the thing that happened where Rudy Perez got to do what he loved? One of my heroes, uh, I, had got, I had gotten signed to RCA when I was 22, 23 years old um, by Jose Menendez. Unfortunately, you may know him as the Menendez boys. He got murdered by his own children. 
uh, and and uh, he he signed me to RCA Records, and um, I got I went on the road to do promotion for my first single, and I met Jose Feliciano, who was one of my heroes. Yeah. Being an inner city kid, I would look at him, and 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 he was so successful that I would say, if he made it. I have a chance, a chance to make it. So did, did you always write songs? I mean, obviously you knew how to, to play, but did you always write? I wrote, I think my first song that I wrote, I wrote it when I fell in love with a girl. Um, uh, <laughs> That'll do it. <laughs> at 16 years old and her father came to me and said, listen, um, <laughs> you gotta let her go because you're never gonna amount to anything. Oh my word. You are a loser. And I want something better for you, for my, for my daughter. And you're not it. Wow. And that completely broke my heart because I was living in the poor side of the city, and, and they were well off. And we had met in a rehearsal with my band, and and I was it was puppy love, one of these incredible uh, love affairs uh, as a teenager. And when she got sent to Spain because of me, wow. and I never saw her again, that was when when I think. Uh, Did you ever send him a CD down the road? <laughs> <laughs> Funny, funny you say that. Just because, saying. Well, funny you say that because a friend of mine uh, actually years later saw her wow. and she told her that she had been my first girlfriend and and she confessed that she had had a horrible life. She married a guy who used to put her in the hospital every week, oh my. beat her, and her brother had had an overdose. And, and she said, please tell Rudy how proud I am of what he has been done and she asked me to send her send her a letter every day and for all these years I wrote a letter every day really? to her and then she I found out that her father had wow. taken them wow the book is fascinating it's an amazing journey the latin hit maker is the name of the book it's available in stores nationwide what a journey you've been on god has blessed you in many ways but you've been faithful thank, thank you thank you Rudy so Perez. much terry